Hey, what's going on, guys? I just got through seeing the movie Hacksaw Ridge. I really enjoyed that movie. I want to see it again, okay? And I probably will see it again. Okay, God bless Desmond Doss. Desmond Doss saved over seven, saved 75 lives, and he refused to carry a gun because of his religious beliefs, and this country was founded on freedom of religion. I believe he should have been able to not carry a gun if that's what if not carrying a gun what he wanted based on his religious beliefs because he was such a good combat medic I don't think he should have had to I think he should have been able to observe Saturday as the Sabbath okay and I endorse the movie and I want to see it again however the religion that he belonged to the Seventh Day Adventist Church this pains me to say this but it is not true mainstream Protestantism, Christianity. It is its own religion. Okay, He had a right to practice it. I'm not saying that. But it's not mainstream Protestant Christianity. And I don't think the church that he went to was a very extreme Seventh-day Adventist church, but a lot of the Seventh-day Adventist churches, I hate to say this, but they're cults. Okay? Okay, first of all, if anybody sees this movie and people are handing you literature for stop smoking campaigns and vegetarian cooking courses, but they don't have the name of who they are on there. It's the Adventist church, okay? It usually is going to be, okay? And they don't want, they're not supposed to tell people who they really are. And then also, if they're not going to share everything about their religion, unless you join the church, that is the sign of a cult. A lot of Seventh-day Adventists will not tell you or teach you completely about the church until you join their church, okay? Also, the, the heart and soul of the Seventh-day Adventist church is to not only observe Saturday as their Sabbath, okay? The Seventh-day Baptists do that. I'm not Seventh-day Baptist. I choose Sunday as my Sabbath day, and I know I'm not going to hell, and I'm not going to burn in hell because Sunday is my Sabbath day. The Seventh-day Adventist Church teaches that Sunday Sabbath worship is the worst sin out there, that it's the work of the devil, and that unless you change your Sabbath day to Saturday, you're going to burn eternally in hell. And quite frankly, that's not biblical, and it's not true. Because Romans chapter 14, if you look in the Bible, states it differently. Okay, also... The Seventh-day Adventist Church teaches that Jesus and the Archangel Michael are the same person. No. Jesus is God in the flesh. Okay? The Bible's pretty clear about that. Okay? And Michael the Archangel is the head angel soldier that commands God's army. And that is, that is not conducive with the Bible as well because... God created the archangel Michael, okay? And the Bible is very clear, thou shalt not worship creations, or you shall not worship creations, okay? Desmond Doss did not impose his beliefs or try to force anybody to convert, and but a lot of Seventh-day Adventists do. I've had prior experience with this, and if you tell them no, it if you tell them no or you tell them you're not interested, a lot of them can get angry and can get angry pretty quickly, okay? Their church is not the only true church and it's not the only way to, to find salvation through Christ. Also, yes, I'm Protestant. I have some disagreements with the Catholic Church over things, as most if not all Protestants do. But I do not view the Catholic Church as modern-day Babylon, okay? For the... I consider Catholic Christian, okay? Um, for the most part, I do. that. It's a very complex subject, but I believe there are plenty of Catholics that are going to heaven, and there are plenty of Catholics that are saved, okay? But you go to the Seventh-day Adventist Church, they view the Catholic Church as modern-day Babylon. They view it as like the next Antichrist is, that the Antichrist is, is going to be the Pope. I mean, it's, it's that extreme how anti-Catholic the Seventh-day Adventist Church is. And that's not biblical as well. And, I mean, it's just not. And 
And I'm not saying, look, our country was founded on freedom of religion, and Thomas Jefferson, when he proposed the first uh, statute for religious freedom, he said all religions, Christian, Jewish, even anti-Christian denominations, should have the right to worship. And Desmond Doss should have had the right, the right to worship any way he wanted. But just like he did, y'all should have the right to worship any way y'all want to. And from the church that he belonged to, even though I don't think he belonged to a very extreme section of it, but most of the Seventh-day Adventists are extremely extreme and they view themselves as the one and only true church. So be very careful if you go see Hacksaw Ridge and then people are handing out pamphlets um, for stop smoking campaigns and vegetarian cooking courses, but they're not saying exactly who they are or they're not telling you the complete story. Okay, I'm going to make some more videos on that because um, their prophetess, um, Ellen G. White, she, this is all documented stuff, but she broke her skull at a very young age. So she, and she suffered from a lot of epileptic seizures and a lot of hallucinations. And she thought a lot of her hallucinations were a conversation with God. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.